talk about the non-provision obligation for patent. I get this question a lot from my clients, so let's let's address it. A non-provision obligation for patent, uh, it's also called a full application for patent. Why is it called a full application for patent? Because it includes all the sections required by the U.S. patent law in order to, to eventually be granted a patent. One of the important sections of the application, which is included in a non-provisional application, but is not normally included in what is called a provisional application, is the claims section. The claims section is very, very important, probably the most important part, the most important section of the non-provisional application. Why so? Well, because the claims are really defining the boundaries of the intellectual property claimed. Uh, in other words, it will, they really define how small or how large that intellectual property uh, claimed by the inventor should be. So it is very important that those claims are written uh, such that it, it, they claim the entire intellectual property to which the inventor is entitled. Uh, that, that's, it's very important because let's say later on the patent has to be uh, enforced against a, an infringer the claims will be the one that will be used by the court to determine again how large that intellectual property of the inventor of the patentee is uh, and therefore what are his rights and what are his uh, potential uh, damages so again, the claim section, naturally, it's, it's a very, very important section of the application. Uh, usually a patent attorney can write it only as it's a very technical process, very, very intense process, and the, the, the implications of not having uh, well-written claims are, are very, very significant. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.